You opened the box. We came. Oh. No, wait. Would we have opened the box and he came? Wait, what? Welcome back to the basement. Welcome to the channel if you've never been here before. Today we have a 12-inch pinhead from Hellraiser 3 by Mezco. Yeah, you picked this up at a record shop in Sydney, Atomic Records and Collectibles, who Tom is an awesome guy. Yeah. Uh, we talk to him all the time. Traded in a lot of our pops there, yeah, actually. Yeah, actually. <laughs> um, and you picked this up, actually, you've been waiting to open it, but we've just been so busy and then we've, we've been battling through multiple uh, of us getting sick. Yeah, I'm still a little, <laughs> little under the weather myself, so bear with me. Um, but yeah, you picked this up when we went to see It, actually. Yeah, we, uh, we did a little bit of shopping before the movie, and this had actually been at the store a few times when we had been there, and I looked it? at it. Yeah, I had looked at it a couple of times, but then this particular time there was a sale going on. Yeah. And so I picked him up and was like, uh, yeah. yeah, I want him. I gotta bullet. get him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's you, pretty awesome. You do like you do like Pinhead. Eh, who, uh, come on, and who? What horror fan doesn't like Pinhead? Pinhead's that. awesome. Pinhead he, is just so cool. so menacing with the, the pins and everything in his head. He just he's such a cool concept of yeah. character. It's such it's a hundred percent Clive Barker. Yes, like for sure. it's just so <laughs> Clive Barker. Um, I I actually was like terrified of Pinhead as a kid, and I had never actually seen the movie. But whenever I went to our local uh, rental shop. You had to walk past the horror movies to get to the video games. So I would see the VHS tape with Pinhead on it, and it just freaked me right the hell out. Yeah, break out the Shredder while you're talking about that. <laughs> He's still got a little bit of tape on him from the last oh. thing I opened. Poor the Shredder's all dirty. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would see that VHS tape, and I would just, I knew nothing about the movie. I would just imagine him sitting there and somebody beating nails into his head, and it freaked me right the hell out. I was not a. Uh, a horror movie kid, I was a huge one. Uh oh. I opened the box. Uh -oh. <laughs> you opened the box! You know, that that works on two levels because you know how those um, super nerds get mad at you for what you do with the, you know, stuff you spent your own money on. <gasps> you took it out of the box! You'll tear your soul apart! <laughs> so, alright. It's actually a really nice box, though. I, I will I admit, like, it's, I like got, how it's got, um, got the puzzle box design. Oh, uh, the puzzle it. box that. Uh, lamentation all uh, around the sides and you know all the info on the back but it's got the whole puzzle box design going around on it so it is a nice box it's got a decent window he is covered in plastic though keeping this yeah. thing in the box <laughs> would just be there's no point in buying it if you're gonna do that no you can't um, even see him well yeah. enough because he's all this, this wrapped this is there. a figure for a horror fan this is not something you keep locked away you're not gonna believe this Trace there's no twist eyes yeah <laughs> <laughs> I hate twist eyes. I love. Oh, Mezco I'm so happy with Mezco Jason's right now. Company. They didn't <laughs> load them with twist eyes. My mortal enemy, the twist eyes. <laughs> so, oh yeah. my god, he is so cool. He's actually a lot lighter than I would have expected. He's like really super light, but he's flat on the bottom there. <laughs> yes, yeah, very stands up very easy with the the big flat. Oh, he is so cool. There's so much detail in his clothing, particularly up the top. There's all kinds of, like, veiny lines and just all the little details of the, like, the the way the shirt is stitched and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's very it's very slimy and, and grotesque uh, looking. Yeah. It does look like the um, rubbery suits and stuff yeah, they would have used the leather, in the movie. Whatever. It's supposed yeah. to be yeah. and this is um, kind of yeah. <laughs> this is Hellraiser 3 Pinhead yeah. uh, so it is a little bit different than the first two movies Pinhead but uh, yeah very very cool it's got the hooks with the yeah. you know straps All of hooks skin uh, you know coming through bloody grossness yeah uh, of course the belly button 
loop <laughs> with all the Which is cords and stuff. Kind of actual an actual cord. Yeah, it's actual cord. You can kind of move it around. I, I don't know if it's plastic. It's more just a painted like actual just regular cord. Yeah, so I think it's just a um, cord. But very very cool. Uh, he is pretty <laughs> grotesque looking. Eh? It's perfect. It's awesome. Um, the face, of course, is the best yeah, part. The, pins, the head, the whole head. Yeah, pins <laughs> all over his head. The pins um feel like real metal. They are yeah. real metal. They are actually. So that is a huge step up in quality right there. I'm going to say that right now. That puts the, the figure over yeah. in how fantastic it is. Nice. The fact that that is real metal on his pins. They're and all like perfectly uh, spaced with all the yeah. lines drawn very, into his skull and everything. Very, very well done. Ah, he's got that sour face on him, of course. It does yeah. have the uh, the hooks in the back of his head there as well. You can see like the little flaps of skin yeah. that are all bunched up. So, so gross. I love the color of his face is perfect and everything. Yeah, all the oh, weird hooks, so, man. So, cool. So, he's got his back thing that holds his uh, his head there. Yeah. Um, it's almost like a corset, because, you know, yeah. it, it's it, it's Clive Barker. Everything's got to have kind of like a, a torture slash almost like sexual feel, yeah. you know what Just I mean? It's like, it's got like that bondage type kind of feel. A, yeah. <laughs> um, it, where it's it's uncomfortable. It, it's something that's just synonymous with the horror genre. Uh, but, of course, he does articulate, too. Um, not too yeah, much. Not a whole lot. Like, he, like obviously, he has no legs. This, body is solid. this yeah. is solid, right? The flowing cape, which does look very nice, but that's solid. But his arms do articulate quite a bit, actually. You can get them far out like that. You can do his pose that he does in the movie. You know, when he's he's referencing the religious stuff. I love it. And, uh, His hands course, are really nice, too. You can... The, uh, yeah, they're all grass. He and... actually comes with spare hands. Yeah, he's um, got that you can hands hold. that are uh, grasped so that he can hold his little... He's got these weapons. Tensil, ...utensils of torture. Now, usually, these hang off his belt, though. And, yep, they have little oh, slots good. in them, so you can hang them. So that's perfect, because this, nice. this is where they always hang in the movies and the figures, uh... They always hang off his belt, so, so there we the go. I don't know if I got them on. Type things. I don't know if I got them on the right side right now. I have to go back for reference, but I'm not <laughs> that now. that particular. But yeah, he's got spare hands that that can be used for gripping them if you want to do that. And of course, of course, he's got the little puzzle box, and it's so cute. <laughs> so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Okay. His uh, murder box is cute. That's uh, only Tracy. I'm weird. Yeah. That's <laughs> a very, <laughs> very cute murder box he's got there. They um, did a really nice job on this. This is very highly detailed. To get a nice close-up picture so you can actually see it. But yeah, it looks just like the puzzle box in the movie. Of yeah. course, sized so that he can hold it. And I'm trying to get his arms there so he can kind of hold the puzzle box in his hands there. there. But, Perfect. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I, you know, I'll, we'll tinker around with it yeah, later. Yeah, we're going to play um, with them. We have to get a couple more shelves up in the horror movie room because we have um, just no space left on the shelves with no. the amount of stuff we have in there and stuff we have yet to open. Um, but, yeah, that's very cool. I, I like him holding the puzzle box more. I'm going to adjust his arms better for him. Yeah, <laughs> well, well, I'll just let, it up I'll me. just let you fill around with it because he's going to go on display for Halloween for the trick-or-treaters. Oh, definitely, treaters, yes, but, definitely. Uh, he is... Super, super awesome. I love them so much. They had so much detail on them, and I love, like, their rusty, bloody grossness on the utensils and everything. Yeah. The little puzzle box is just perfect. There's a lot of detail. Every little kind of awkward stitch in the back of yes. his outfit. Like I said, uh, like the corsety type thing. I guess you'd call it a corset. I don't know. <laughs> it's really just his whole ensemble. Yes. <laughs> this is horror fashion. Um, but, yeah, it's all ridged and everything so every little detail like I said every vein in the arm it's all done with a lot of detail a lot of attention and his face is captured perfectly oh yeah face um, is absolutely yeah. perfect the furrowed brow yes and, and just yeah just the the expression and the little lines on his face and everything and of course accentuated by all the pins yeah it is a fantastic figure got it for a a pretty good price, uh, Canadian anyway, because everything is more expensive yeah. up here. So much more expensive. We we get so screwed over on the prices <laughs> of stuff up here. It's very um, <laughs> But yeah, very cool. Very happy 
to have that in the horror yeah, collection. I'm super happy that I picked him up. Yeah. <laughs> of course, let us know, you guys, what you think of him in the comment section below. Let us know if you have any pinhead figures of your own or any other Mezco Coffee. figures. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat, at Tracy's Basement, Jason from GB on Twitter, and of course, as always, guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Bye.